Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Victory at Sea Peanut Butter. I do appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I've been searching, Ballast Point has a brewery about eh, 20 miles from here. And I heard that uh, they were releasing, their Victory at Sea is one of my favorites. Uh, it's an Imperial Porter. Uh, and they can call it whatever once it gets <laughs> It's a black beer, and they can call it a porter, they can call it a stout, they can call it whatever the hell they want to call it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't go back and look as if I'd done the peanut butter version. I've done the regular Victory at Sea and the Bourbon Barrel Victory at Sea, but I'm not sure I've done the peanut butter. If I have, this is a re-review, the 2018 edition. If I have not, I have not. Uh, a lot of people like this beer, or their beers. Uh, I am in that crowd. I do like their beers. Uh, been to their new brewery. It's an awesome facility. If you're in the vicinity here in the Roanoke Valley, you ought to stop by and check it out if you haven't done so already. Uh, but they said that they released this beer a month or so ago, and I've been looking for it. And like I tell you all the time, the beer distribution in, in this part of the state is horrendous. I could have went to the brewery two months ago and got this beer. Uh, but now it just showed up this week. It's the first time that it showed up. It take it. It took it two months to get to the beer stores once the brewery released it. What is up with that? I don't understand that. I mean, whoever's in charge of distribution and and, uh, and the distributors here ought to have their damn head chopped off. And I'd be happy to do that for them. I swear. I mean, it this it make it chaps my ass that it takes that long for a beer brewed twenty miles away to get to the damn stores. I mean, it's incredible, guys. You guys that can get these beers uh, when they're three to five, seven days old, consider yourself lucky, because if you live in this part of Virginia, you can't even get a beer that's brewed five miles away that fresh unless you go to the brewery, and then you're still not guaranteed. It's going to be that fresh. It could have been sitting in the damn brewery that long. I just don't understand it. It's, just, it's unbelievable. So you guys, like I said, that can get these beers that are brewed. If you don't go to the brewery and you can go to the beer store and this beer is a week old, that's impressive. That is very impressive, guys. Well, let's get on with this. And this is the Peanut Butter Edition 2018 edition also. 10.5% uh, big beer. Uh, Imperial Porter is what they're calling this, and man, they can call it what they want. Like I said, uh, basically, it's a damn stout, guys. I doubt if I'm going to see any red ribbiness in the bottom of the glass. It's a big, bold beer. And I've done a lot of peanut butter beers uh, over the years. Uh, I do like that style. It's not something I want to drink every day, uh, but it is a nice change up for either a stout or a porter. Uh, because I am a big peanut butter fan. I do like peanut butter. Uh, not a lot, and I can eat it. There's a lot of people that are uh, allergic to peanuts and other kind of nuts. Uh, I am not. Uh, I'm an old guy, and I didn't have any allergies, and I don't know what's up with that, where people are allergic to stuff like this, and the magnitude of the people that are. I mean, uh, I mean, if you're pregnant, eat some freaking peanuts so your child won't be allergic to peanuts. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what causes that or what the remedy is for that. Uh, I'm not allergic to anything. That's why I'm just a big fat guy. I'm not allergic to anything. I can eat anything. Anything at all. I'm not allergic to nothing. I'm not allergic to nothing. So uh, I think that may have an, uh, 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 an aspect to what 
kids are, are allergic to because they've not been exposed to it. I mean, even to, when their mother was pregnant or, or whatever, they never had any of that or didn't taste any of that. So I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I, I don't know. Seems like we have a lot more problems with AHDT and, and other things that are wrong with kids uh, nowadays that we, we, you didn't hear of uh, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Uh, so I, I don't know what the answer is there, guys. It's a shame. Uh, if, you're, if you're a mother and you have a child that can't eat peanuts, that's sad. That is very sad. A lot of protein there. Uh, and I remember eating any kind of nut uh, hazelnuts, uh, walnuts, peanuts. Uh, I mean, it's it's sad. If you're missing out on that and you're allergic to that, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I hate that because uh, that's a lot of good eating there. A lot of good eating. But anyway, let's get on with the beer. Uh, I don't want this to be a huge long video. Uh, uh, Untapped has it. This version is without the chocolate, just peanut butter. Uh, and they're calling it 60 IBUs on this, but they have it listed at 10%, and I think it's 10.5, is that what I said earlier? Uh, the writing on these bottles are so small, I can't even, I can't even see it anymore. Beer Advocate has it at 10.5%, but Untapped has it at 10%, and, and they say Ballast Point Brewing, San Diego, California, so... This one must have been done over in California instead of here in Virginia. Uh, and it has 10% also alcohol by volume. So, Beer Advocate is right. I mean, uh, Untapped is right and Beer Advocate is wrong. It is not 10.5%. So, and they, and they are famous for, maybe last year's was 10.5% and, and this year's is 10%. And they don't differentiate it. Uh, but this doesn't have 2018 listed on Untapped and they have it at 10%. So, it is what it is. Uh, the information sometimes is not always correct. So, final beer of the evening for me. So, let's get it on. Let me get the cap off of this bad boy. A little bit of hiss, a little bit of smoke. And into the glass we shall go. Let's go down the center. 10 per center. I don't think it's going to pour a very big head. Hmm. And I'm correct. All right, nice finger of head. It looks pitch black. I'm gonna get it over into the light. I am not seeing a lot of red ribbiness around the thin part of the glass. Maybe just a hint, I'm not sure. That red light on the clock back there, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Looks like a stout to me, guys. 10% to the nose we go. Wow. The peanut butter is there. It's off the chain, guys. Never brewed with peanut butter myself. I had a lot of peanut butter beers over the years. And I do enjoy that. Sweet Baby Jesus, Liquid Bliss. Uh, I've had several different, two or three different types of peanut butter beers. Uh, some are done well, some eh, not so well. The peanut butter is off the chain here, guys. Well, wow, rich roasted malt. Caramel toffee, a little bit of chocolate, and peanut butter. Peanut butter is standing out. It's overpowering everything. It smells good. I like a, I like a nice. I eat. A lot of times I'll have peanut butter and rich crackers. I love that. That's nice to me. When I was growing up, I ate I ate uh, peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Uh, Peanut butter was a staple in my house growing up because we weren't rich. We, we weren't even middle class. We were a little on the poor side. So peanut butter was cheap to buy and, you know, it was what it was. Uh, I mean, you felt lucky. I mean, Sundays were chicken and the rest of the week you were eating Spam sandwiches <laughs> or bologna. Uh, so, uh. Good thing we weren't allergic to stuff then. You just starved to death because we couldn't afford to have anything else. So uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow. That's very, very good, guys. Uh, peanut butter, chocolate. 
I've read where people were getting coffee. I'm getting a bitter twang there. I don't know if I'm expecting coffee or what I'm getting there. Definitely rich roasted malt. But the peanut butter, that's what they got on the label there. This is a peanut butter porter. And a big one, an imperial porter. Like I said, I'm not getting a lot of coffee. I'm getting bittersweet chocolate, peanut butter, roasted malt. That's what I'm getting on this beer right now. But it's cold right out of the fridge. So let me sip on this and we'll come back and find out if I'm getting any kind of other flavors or aromas once it's warmed up. Hey guys, I'm back and just got just a tad left here. Very nice. Big peanut butter notes. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of coffee on this one. Some people say they're getting big coffee notes. I'm not getting a lot on this one. Uh, I think the bitterness of the hops may be giving them a false representation of maybe some coffee or something since it's so bitter. Uh, or I don't want to say so bitter. Uh, I think it's a delicious beer, guys. Uh, I do enjoy these peanut butter beers. There's a lot of people that do not like peanut butter beers and that's personal preference I mean if you don't like a peanut butter beer don't buy it don't buy it that way you won't be disappointed but if you buy it then give it a bad review uh, you're ruining it for everybody else uh, just say it's not my cup of tea I did not enjoy it and, and whatever uh, I do enjoy a peanut butter beer occasionally it's not something I want to drink every day but I, I do find it's very well made. Uh, I like the peanut butter notes. Uh, rich roasted malt. Uh, a hint of bittersweet chocolate in there. Uh, I find it very enjoyable. I don't. It's not blowing my hair back or my socks off or anything like that. But it's a very enjoyable beer. Especially for the final beer of the evening. Not something I want to drink every day. But I think it's a well-made beer, and to degrade it just because you don't like it, uh, sometimes uh, sticks in my craw just a little bit. Uh, and I find that for a lot of beers, guys. Uh, unless, uh, depending on the style that you like, and you're reviewing it, uh, and it doesn't blow your hair back or your socks off, you, you trash the beer. Uh, I, I try not to do that. Uh, I try to grade it for what it is. And for what this beer is, and it says on the label, it's a peanut butter imperial porter. And it's exactly what I am getting. So I try to be as honest as I can with this. I find it very tasty. I wouldn't drink it every day. But it's a nice change up for an imperial porter, even an imperial stout. Something with peanut butter. Because I enjoyed the, the Declaw peanut butter Jesus. Or... or, or, or any other one, the Liquid Bliss from Terrapin. Uh, I do enjoy those beers. It's, it's something that looks a little different than what your normal run of the meal stout or, or porter is going to be. So, with that being said, guys, uh, I'm going to stop fussing and finish drinking. Final chug. I think this beer is a very, very well-made beer. It's got the the notes that they're telling you that it's going to have right on the front of this bottle. It says right here, Peanut Butter Imperial Porter. And that's exactly what it tastes like to me, guys. It's an Imperial Porter made with peanut butter, and that's what it tastes like. End of conversation. End of freaking conversation. If you're expecting bourbon notes, it's not going to be there. If you're expecting a coffee porter, it's probably not going to be there. If you're expecting a hand job in the closet, it's not going to be there. So I try to grade it on for what it is, guys. It's a peanut butter imperial porter, and that's exactly what it tastes like to me. 95. Right down the middle of the A category. Tasty beer. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 3.96. That's in their B plus range. Mm, nah. Nah. And those grades come from all the people that have commented on the beer that just got a carrot up their ass. So, over to Untapped. Untapped says 3.9. Also a B plus. 
Same carrot, same ass. Uh, I try to be as honest as I can, guys. Okay, I tell you this all the time. I think this is beer for the description that's on the bottle. It is what it is. And I'm grading it for what it is. Not something I drink every day, but a very well-made peanut butter imperial porter. 95 for me, solid A for me. So, if you've had this one from Battle Tony, this is a 2018 edition of Peanut Butter Victory at Sea. Let me know what you think. Until next time, let's go see what's in the fridge.